Hey guys, another quick episode of TJ's Garage. Um, I'll be videoing, doing this video myself, so it's going to be kind of sketchy. But we're going to do a, uh, just going to show you a few things about this uh, 2000 Polaris Magnum 500. Uh, kind of a couple odd things about it. If you're looking to change the oil, it's very simple, it's very quick. Uh, let me show you this real quick. Okay, so if you come over here, everybody always looking for the drain plug. The drain plug is right here. Right here on the oil cooler right there okay just uh, make sure once again if you take it off don't lose the o-ring okay and another thing is um, the drain plug itself is gonna have a magnet on the bottom it's normally clogged with oil and residue from aluminum shavings or metal shavings make sure you clean that off okay and then we're gonna come up here and there's where the filter is, right on the top, right? On the left-hand compartment, right in front of the clutch cover. Um, and the drain bolt itself, 17 millimeter, actually 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter. Okay, here's your fill. Just make sure when you're draining the oil, loosen the fill cap because it'll create a suction and your oil will probably not come out. If you have a problem with it being on jack stands, uh, if you look right here, I just put a funnel down there to catch some of the drippings so it doesn't get all over the jack stands. Okay, and again, this is a Polaris Magnum 500. Uh, we just rebuilt the entire front end from the A-arms to the tie rod ends and the lower ball joints, okay? If you have any questions, there's a couple tricks to getting these A-arms rebuilt. You don't have to buy A-arms unless they're bent, okay? There's a rebuilt kit for them. So, questions about the front end on the Polaris Magnum or an oil change, um, just let me know. It's getting busy this time of year. Everybody's bringing their stuff to me because uh, it's getting warm out. Um, any of the newer models, most of them are fuel injected. Most of the, I haven't had any problems with front ends yet, but if you look here, I also have a uh, 500 ATP with the dump bed that I'll be working on, but that's pretty much the same motor as the uh, 500 Magnum. Okay, any questions, drop me a line. Thanks, bye.